Payment for order flow is a cost to me. So if you're gonna tell me that by regulatory fiat that one of my major items of expense disappears, I'm okay with that. Citadel founder and CEO Ken Griffin telling the Economic Club of Chicago today that he would be okay if regulators banned payment for order flow, if brokerage firms were still required to secure the best execution for their customers. His comments echo similar ones made by Virtu CEO Doug Sifu last, last month, right here on Fast Money. Ironically, it's an expense, right? So, you, right, it's an expense. So, like, in theory, like, our bottom line would improve. So you may say to yourself, why are we doing this? Because I think it's the right thing. I think payment for order flow has created innovation and has enabled a company like Robinhood, which is a client of ours, to offer commission-free trading and to democratize the market and make uh, trading more available, more openly available. I believe in that passionately. I believe in what we have done with them. So from a Virtu perspective, you know, our earnings would probably go up. They must get something out of this, though, wouldn't you think, Guy? And I know that you have, you like Virtu, I mean, in terms of the, the stock, you said as much uh, after the interview with Doug Sifu, but in terms of answering the question, what do the firms get for payment for order flow? It can't just be charity out of the goodness of their heart to help Robinhood and, and other retail investors execute their trades. It's got to be something else, like maybe helping their algorithms yeah, I'm or sure something. Yeah, so, listen, I can't speak that intelligently about many things, uh, not least of which the, you know, how Virtu, you know, what, what payment for order flow means to Virtu or uh, by extension for a Citadel. But what I can say is that if it goes away for whatever reason, um, that's one pillar out of this Robin Hood um, ladder for sure. The other one being crypto. So how do you trade it? Well, if, if Robin Hood is worth $34 billion, that's what the market is saying right now, and that's fine. Maybe it is. I don't think there's anything particularly innovative about them, um, except sort of some of the hair these guys have. I think NASDAQ should be worth twice that. So I look at Robin Hood at $34 billion and NASDAQ at $31 billion. I said something's wrong here. So I look at it, and I, I just make the connection that NASDAQ should be a more valuable stock.